Hello, everyone. It's Bob. Welcome back to Modern Life of the 70s Mind. Thanks for checking in. I really appreciate it. It is good to be back. I've taken a couple days off and I kind of took some time to enjoy myself, if you can believe that. So I hope you guys are doing the same because that's really the most important thing in life, hands down. All right. So we're, what is this, our first full week into the new year? And I'm going to start it off right this time. I'm going to take a long overdue shot at a Tool song. I always get nervous when I do Tool songs because uh, the fans of this band know so much about not only the band, but the songs, the lyrics, the meanings, the background, all that stuff just really plays um, into me in that I get a little nervous because I feel like I'm kind of preaching to the choir, if you will. So I hope I can come up with a little bit of an angle on here that might interest you um, at least a little bit. I've had a little bit of a tough time categorizing this band for some reason. I've always called them like a metal band, but maybe more art metal. Does that make sense? Um, maybe you guys can give me your thoughts on exactly what they are. I really, I, d I don't know where to categorize them. I And, I, and probably because I really can't compare them to anyone musically and their lyrics are quite introspective which is really nice to hear and you definitely do some soul searching when you're done listening to these guys um just really an interesting interesting band i did a little research on a song because a lot of times when i listen to tool i spend so much time just trying to figure out what they're saying that it kind of takes away from the music so i did a little research and the song is numa i think that's how you pronounce it. I hope I'm right. And that's an ancient Greek word for breathe in a religious sense. So I think it means like soul or spirit or something along that lines. From what I understand, this strong song stresses that we are not bound only to our physical selves or our physical beings. We are, um, how, how do you say it? We're more important than that, than a more in, also more important than what we experience Physically, this song basically tells us to open our eyes and see the big picture. I guess that's the way to look at it. This is going to be really interesting, though, in that it's going to be a little different in that we are going to be focusing, at least camera wise, strictly on the drummer, Danny Carey. And we'll only see footage from that camera and watching him play. You won't see the rest of the band. And I've enjoyed watching him play in the past, so this is going to be a real treat. And this was recommended by a lot of you guys after I had said I really enjoyed watching the drummer. He really is just an amazing drummer. So this is going to be fun. So, all right, guys, hold on. I will be right back, and we're going to get right into this, okay? Be right back. Welcome back to Modern Life for the 70s Mind. Your home for 24-7 relaxing adult contemporary music just kidding we're gonna do a tool today um okay all right so let's go ahead and get right into this i i really can't wait because to be able to watch danny through the whole song is kind of cool so here we go I keep forgetting to switch the microphone the speakers to my headphones He's using everything he's got. <laughs> Thank you. 
Kind of sounds like the beginning of Eminem or something, doesn't it? What a cool perspective to see this. Pretty cool to watch. Man, he is all over that set, isn't he? other drummers. They got to do more videos like this. This is awesome.
Okay, I'm going to pause. This is a pretty long song. It's 11, almost 12 minutes, but we're well past halfway point. So um, thank you for the recommendation on this. This is really, really fun to watch. I, I love the, I don't know, can we call it the drum cam? <laughs> you know who, when I saw this, the one other drummer that I would love to see the same thing is, um, you guys ever listen to the band The Warning? And I believe the drummer is Pow. I think that's her name. She has a really interesting style of playing drums as well. I'd love to see a camera just on her through the whole song as well. Maybe they've done that. I haven't reacted to enough of their songs yet to obviously see them all. But it'll be interesting to see if that's available. This song has that, it's almost like a, for, at least for me, because my library of Tool songs is pretty narrow because I've only reacted to a number of them. But this is kind of that classic Tool sound that I personally really um, love. Granted, I've only heard a small number of songs from them, but this is just the exact sound that I really like. Another thing about um, Tool that I've really enjoyed, I think, is their openings to their songs. This one had a nice little buildup, which really tends, at least for me, it draws me in. I think most people listening to it are going to do that because they're kind of anticipating what's going to happen, what's going to pick up, and it kind of gets you into the song. And then that anticipation, I think, really helps build the excitement of the song. And I think it wasn't almost until at least two minutes into the song that he really started to pick it up a bit. So that was interesting. Okay, I'm not going to gab on this one because it's just too good. So let's go ahead and play this to the end, and we'll talk some more. make something so basic like this just sound really cool. <laughs> Look at he's all over the place. like he's playing so gently, isn't it? I haven't mentioned it, but I really do like this song. It's really good.
really, really good music. You know what? These guys remind me so much of like Pink Floyd. Not so much the sound of the music, but the way they present their songs. When you listen to Pink Floyd, you really paid attention to all the instruments and all the sounds and the way they put all these sounds together. I find myself doing the same thing with Tool, and especially from this perspective. Um, really fun to watch. It is absolutely crazy how we can move all four limbs in different rhythms. And especially near the end there, I don't know how a brain works like that. Not only does he do it, he does it perfectly. I, I challenge any of you to come up with anything negative to say about his drumming, because you're not going to find it. There's nothing wrong. Um, I really didn't notice that he was doing that much until they put that camera shot down at the bottom. They showed his legs just going independently and nonstop. It was really, really, really fun to watch. Is it me, or does that snare drum of his have a slightly different sound to it? It just, for some reason, it sounds different to me. It sounds just sounds a little more unique. Um, what we're watching here, uh, what, what we're watching him do is really nothing short of amazing. And it's not that he's drumming really fast or anything. It's just all the different things he does. It's like he has this big pot and he just puts it all in there and you got all these different things going on and you just don't see that as much. And the crazy thing about that is he's, he's showing literally no effort. And the whole time he's got good posture, he's sitting up there, it's awesome. At times, it almost looked like his left hand was playing a completely different song than his right <laughs> it's such a such a fun thing to watch even um the, the the darn guy manages to keep good posture like i said through it all and um and he, i think he even saw a smile somewhere through there near the end as well so good for him awesome awesome recommendation you guys i really enjoyed this all right let me get my headphones off and we'll be back for my final thoughts oh. final thoughts you know what I like about these guys? They don't follow trends or mainstream music influences or styles, I think, at all. They're kind of like, I don't know, they're almost like in their own bubble. I find that even more amazing because of the few albums they release. I think they've been out for like 30 years, if I'm right. correct. Please correct me if I'm wrong. And I think they've only put out like six albums, which, if my math is right... Or five albums they put out, I think. So, so if my math is right, that's like every six years they put out an album. And with that gap, if you will, trends definitely change. But it's really clear Tool doesn't care. <laughs> they are very aware of what drives them. And nothing is going to change that, especially time or other outside influences. They're very focused on what they think is um, meaningful to them. And watching this large six-foot, five-inch guy leading the band with his drumming is truly something to behold it's no surprise at all that danny's one of the most sought after drummers today hands down his crazy his crazy polyrhythmic skills and i think his odd time signatures really set him apart from so many of the other drummers out there today the fact that he is a fan of neil pert and john bonham <laughs> really says a lot about him and i just love it guys this was fun i really enjoyed it and i hope maybe there's another video or two out there that's kind of following him as well because i would love to see another song this was really really interesting to me i feel like i learned a little bit about drumming today <laughs> so all right guys please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video i really appreciate it it means so much to me and my uh, channel that i'm trying to grow so anything you can help me out with is really appreciated and if you would also click that notification bell that way you'll be notified anytime I release some new content. All right, guys. Peace out. You have a great day, okay? And thank you so much for checking in. Have a good day. Bye.